Hello guys, welcome to my video. Today's video is going to be January favourites. But I don't know if it's going to be uploaded in January because I'm the worst. <laughs> I didn't actually do a favourites video for December because there wasn't really any new products or anything different that I'd used or anything amazing that I found. Um, so I decided not to do one. I thought there's no point in me looking for things, you know, because then it's not really a true favourites video. But I've got a few things this month that I want to show you and yeah keep watching. So I'm going to start off with makeup as normal and the first thing that I'm going to show you is this MUA bronze and sculpt contour kit. This is like a duo, it's got a highlighter and then a contour. The contour colour is too warm and dark for my skin so I don't really use that at all. I absolutely love the highlighter in it. I've got it, I'm wearing it right now. It's so nice, it's perfect for my skin. Even though the contour colour is too dark, the highlighter is perfect for my skin. Probably not going to buy it again just because it's wasteful just to buy it and not use half of it. So I probably won't buy it again but I do really love it and I've been using it a lot so yeah I use it every day. Okay the next thing is by NYX. This is NYX Matte Liquid Liner. This eyeliner is amazing. It's perfect. It lasts all day. It doesn't smudge. It's really really easy to apply. The brush is really thin so you don't get a big like gloop on your eye. Um, my friend Lizzie got me this for Christmas and I'm so happy that I've found an eyeliner. Now I just need to find the perfect cruelty free felt tip liner because I've not found that yet. As long as this exists I probably won't purchase another liquid liner ever because this is just perfect and just ticks every boxes for me. Every boxes? Every box. <laughs> I am wearing it right now. Um, so yeah, I love it. Ah, I'm so close to the camera. Next is two separate favourites but they kind of go together so I'll talk about this one first. This is an Illamasqua brush. Um, I got this in a set which you might have seen in a haul. This is an eyeliner brush or brow brush. I use it as a brow brush and it's really, 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 really good. It's super thin which is exactly what I like because my brows aren't like huge or anything. They're quite small really. A lot of eyebrow brushes that I've tried in the past just seem to be really thick and like not precise enough for me but this is awesome. I'm really glad that I got this. I've been using it every single day and yeah. And the product that I use with it is another NYX product. This is NYX Tame and Frame Tinted Brow Pomade. Now this is a dupe for the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade, whatever it's called. I've never used that so I can't comment and say if it's the same but this is amazing. It's awesome. I really really love it. I have struggled with brow products in the past. Um, I've never seen, I don't like really like pencils. I just never found anything that was perfect but this is really really good and I really really like it. I got it in the shade Espresso, basically like a perfect match to the brown hair on top. i definitely buy it again. It does last quite a long time and it's only £5.50 I think it was so it's not super expensive or anything like that so yeah. Okay that's everything for makeup. Next is gonna be her cut. No mean comments guys, this is how I speak. <laughs> so first of all I'm going to start with this Lush shampoo bar. Look how pretty it is. So this is the Scenic shampoo bar, it smells amazing. If you've ever used Rub 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 Scrub, Rub 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 Scrub, the Rub 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 Body Scrub by Lush, it smells similar to that. It's like a ocean scent, it's amazing but it smells like orange as well. This is the first shampoo bar that I've ever used from Lush, I've always wanted to try them but I've just been a bit like... It's amazing, easy to use, lasts really well. I'm really glad that I tried it. I don't use it every time I wash my hair because this particular one is, it kind of strips your hair. Like when I'm washing it, the dye just falls out of my hair. It's perfect for when I want to fade my hair. It's really, really good. But this is a really, really deep cleaning shampoo. So I don't use it every day. I just use it every so often. It's really good for when you've got product build up on your hair. It's going greasy even though you've washed it. Use this and your hair will be so soft and shiny afterwards. These are 5 95 I think, but I've used this like about five times and it's still pretty much the same size as when I bought it. There's not much difference, so I can imagine that it's going to last me forever. The next thing is like three separate things, but they're all linked. A couple of weeks ago I went into Holland & Barrett, which is like a health store, um, and I wanted to try the Dr. Organics shampoo and conditioner. I've heard a lot of good things about them, so I wanted to try it. I, I wanted to try the argan oil stuff because obviously with dyeing my hair I need as much moisture as I can get. Luckily they were doing this offer in store called the Penny Sale so you buy one thing and you get this another thing for a penny the same thing like that's amazing um, but they were doing these gift sets for £25 and in the gift set you got uh, Moroccan Argan Oil Shampoo and uh, Moroccan Argan Oil Conditioner so them two and you got a Moroccan Argan Oil Hair Treatment Serum as well which you put on your hair when it's wet after you've washed it and it makes your hair really really soft so you got these three in a set and it was £25 but obviously I got two 
So I got two for £25, so I was so happy. Just this alone is £15, so I was really, really happy. This stuff is awesome. Like, when you get shampoos and conditioners like Tresemme and Pantene Pro-V and stuff like that, yeah, they make your hair really shiny and smell nice, but they're actually putting a plastic coating on your hair. It's like, is it acrylic? They're actually, like... It, yeah, yeah, it makes your hair look healthy, but it's fake in it. Like, your hair's not actually healthy, it's just a coating on your hair. Where these are actually good for your hair, that they're all organic ingredients, all natural ingredients. It'll take longer for you to notice that your hair's getting better, but your hair is actually healthy rather than it being faked. I'd much rather have actual healthy hair. My hair's been so much better since I've been using these as well. There is loads of other types, like there's um, an aloe vera one, there's a honey one, I think. There's like loads of different kinds, but I wanted to try this one because it's like the moisture repair one. Um, apparently there's a new one now, a coconut oil one, so I definitely want to try that one. Okay, next I'm going to talk about fashion items. So the first thing I'm going to talk about is this pretend leather skirt. <laughs> Pleather full leather if you will um, and I got this from H&M in January I got it for a night out but I absolutely love it I love the way it looks on and it's really comfy and I just really like it I've always looked at leather skirts and thought oh I want one of them but I've always been a bit like no, a little bit like worry to try them but I tried it on and I really liked it this was £15 from H&M and I really love it next thing is two things but the the same thing <laughs> but not. <laughs> um, this is two like beanie hats from Amazon and these are Beachfield. Let me show you the logo. Beachfield beanies and my friend George told me about them. <laughs> we were sat on the train and I was like, where's that hat from? I really like it. And he was like, oh, it was off Amazon. It was like two quid. And I was like, no way. So he sent me the link and I got two. I got a grey one and a mustard one and I love them both. They're really comfy, really warm and they're just like really good beanies. It makes me laugh because you can go into like Topshop or something and the beanies are like 15, 20 pound and they're not even as nice as this. But then you can go on Amazon and get one of these bad boys. I really love this mustard one. It does look better when I've got orange hair, but I really love it. Yay! Okay guys, the last thing is a scarf. And this is a scarf from Primark. And on one side it's tartan. And then on the other side it's like dog tooth, hound's tooth, whatever you want to call it. And it's so humongous and warm and snuggly and I absolutely love it. Look how nice it is. And like, I've been wearing it when I was going shopping and stuff. I've been wearing it and I, I kept having to take it off because I was sweating and that's how warm it is. That's what you need in England. <laughs> I'm going to keep it keep it on now because I'm going to work in a minute. <laughs> okay, guys, so that's all my favourites. Um, let me know if you've got any of the things that I showed or if you are planning on getting any of the things that I showed. And yeah, don't forget to like my Facebook and follow me on Twitter. All my links are always in the description box. And yes, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Mm.